How many of you actually have, I mean, there's probably a fair number of you in this room that as soon as a Labrador puppy comes in or a Cocker Spaniel puppy comes into your clinic, you tell the owner to start cleaning the ears. And that's because they have such a high incidence of ear disease that you're trying to prevent it. And that often works. Matter of fact, it's frustrating to me. Quit doing it. Because what you're doing is now, that's the first sign that dog's breaking with allergies, with those itchy ears. I wait. I wait. I don't wouldn't tell an owner of a lab or a cocker to start treating its ears. I tell to watch for the first sign of ear problems. Because if that dog starts getting an ear problem, guess what? There are normal labs and normal cocker spaniels who have never, ever had their ears cleaned. And they've never, ever had an ear infection. And sometimes owners cause disease by cleaning. So I don't think you should tell owners to clean a normal Cocker Spaniel puppy's ears or a Labrador Retriever. That's my personal preference, but I do know about a third of you do in some surveys we've done. The other thing you're doing, though, is I now, for every Cocker and Lab, or for that matter, every allergic dog that I see, I ask owners, do you clean your dog's ears? And a lot of them tell me yes. My next question is, why do you clean your dog's ears? And a lot of owners tell me, well, because it got an ear infection once, and if I don't do that, the ears flare up or get smelly. That's a great sign of allergy. Flea allergy never does that. Matter of fact, if those are really intermittent, that's a classic environmental atopic dog. And when you tell that normal pet to have its ears cleaned, it may never develop the ear disease because they are treating it. And I lose that history. I don't really know the true age of onset because 80% of allergic dogs start with their ears, just about. So if they start with their ears and you start cleaning the ears, guess what? The real onset for allergy was the first time they ever needed their ears cleaned. And I want to know that. That's important to me. And I want to know, was it bad year-round, is it year, or is it seasonal? So that information goes away with routine cleaning. But you can do it. It's very effective. There are lots of allergic dogs that don't need steroids in their ears. All they need is the ear cleaning because the allergy is so mild, the owner doesn't notice it. It's when they get the bacterial overgrowth or the yeast overgrowth, the dog becomes symptomatic. Cleaning takes care of that. Now, if their allergies are bad enough, you've got to clean and use a topical steroid. So that will then control them.